Okay. We're back. All right. I have no idea what Mega has up its sleeve, because I think this is revenge for against me for the last thing that I pulled in the podcast, the last one that we did regarding the Super Mario Bros. movie review, uh, where I pulled the quiz on him with the Super Mario Galaxy 2 versus quotes. But I guess this is his retaliation, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, to preface this, I mentioned back in the last podcast that we did with the Mario movie, as he said that I'd have to come up with some kind of surprise with him the next time we recorded. And true, it's not the next podcast. I kind of felt like this would be most appropriate. So, as we have seen from this era of Nintendo, they like to throw these gauntlets of enemies into their games, very similar to the Cave of Ordeals here, as we've seen. Now, a lot of hmm. the time we've seen them in Zelda games, but that doesn't mean that they haven't been seen elsewhere so that's why i have prepared 10 enemy gauntlets that alex will have to Ooh. guess the name of from the description i give him i know uh. you will get at least a few of these a good chunk of them are from zelda but let's just see how you do uh <laughs> are you ready okay i have no idea what you're gonna throw at me but i'm more than willing to participate uh i will note that my memory is depending on the circumstance very foggy when it comes to certain things but let's yeah, that's what he said before the recording here he said if it's a memory thing i'm gonna <laughs> struggle yeah but i i might i might not it all depends but uh, i'm ready it's gonna it might be all tough right. but i'm always ready <laughs> And there will likely be some kind of score counter on the screen, but I will have ten of these. So, here oh is number one. This DLC for Breath of the Wild consists of you fighting through 54 floors and three difficulty levels in order to reawaken the Master Sword to its fullest potential. Um, is it the name of a trial? Is it a trial? Uh, you will have to just list the side quest that it's called uh like i said foggy memory uh i have not played breath of the wild that that much uh i don't assume that hints are going to be given here with the fact that i have to guess i considered making this multiple choice but i don't think i would be able to make convincing enough multiple choice answers so uh i can reread the description for you if you'd like yeah, sure, go for it. Like I said, this I would Yeah, this DLC for Breath of the Wild consists of you fighting through 54 fours in three difficulty le levels in order to reawaken the Master Sword to its fullest potential. Fullest potential. I don't want to grab my keyboard and cheat because that's not the person that I am. <laughs> no, that that is not the point of this at all. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, you were very I'm... close earlier. You you said the first word of it. This is the trial of the sword. I knew there was a trial of some sort. Uh, I had to guess. Well, I guess uh, I don't get a point there because I had to uh, say that I didn't know. But... Yeah, I'm leaning towards it now. <laughs> Alright, number two. Thank this literal dungeon in the beloved Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a side challenge in which you fight through multiple levels of enemies with a rest floor every ten levels until you reach the end with a special surprise fight. Um... Is this after the train chapter? Where you, uh, visit the ghosty? This you can technically do... I think almost at any point. I mean, I guess I can give you hints where I can. Uh, it is in the room to the left of the Thousand Year Door, I guess is the hint that would give you here. In the room to the left of the Thousand Year Door. I have a very slight feeling that I've seen this, but I forgot the name of it. Uh, like I said, I apparently do not Thousand Year Door. <laughs> I've seen. I'm very, very disappointed in you. Uh, I probably should recognize this from your from your LP, but <laughs> I feel unamused with myself. I should probably know this. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take the. I don't know. 
I'm not gonna say this is the, this is the name of a door. It's not a door that you open, but no. Uh, although it's next to the thousand year door, but it should be a. It's in it's... the room off to the left. Uh, uh, I can reread the description if it helps. I think I'm a. I don't think you have to reread the description. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to opt out of that one because again, uh, like you mentioned, some things slip for, slip through the cracks for. Uh, you and the and the quotes game, but these are kind of slipping through the cracks for me. <laughs> uh, for me, at least. <laughs> I, I'm not sure you've played every single game on this list, but I I guarantee you will get at least a few. Of these. I've played Breath of the so, Wild, but uh, I don't recall doing the uh, the trial of the sword. All right. So the correct answer for this one: this is the Pit of One Hundred Trials. I kind of figured the word trials would be in there at some point. Yeah, I, kind of... I, I very carefully didn't use the word trials in the description of that. And I just said multiple levels because I didn't want to hint that there was a hundred of them. <laughs> All right. This one, I'm almost sure that you'll get. Number three. Hopefully. This outset island cave from Wind Waker was the first in the Legend of Zelda series to have a gauntlet of enemies and is the only one to this date that is required for the main story. This is other known as the Savage Labyrinth. That is correct. Ding, 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 ding. And ding, I'll ding, like, ding. whenever you brought it up during the episode, I'm like, okay, he's for sure going to get that one. I've, I've played Wind Waker. <laughs> I'm familiar with it. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how you fare against this next one. Yeah. Number four. This sequel challenge of 100 battles in Super Paper Mario is very similar to the Pit of 100 Trials. However, despite there being two Pits of 100 Trials in Super Paper Mario, they are not the ones I'm talking about. So there is a third set of 100 battles in Super Paper Mario, and that is the challenge I'm talking about here. What gauntlet is this? Um, okay, so does it have anything to do... With, uh, with trials at all. Is trial in the name? I'll, I, pro I probably shouldn't ask. The word trials is not used in this. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have featured it so much in the description. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say give me hints. That I have no right to do that to you at all. Uh, I will not go by hints at all. I'm going to probably do my best to not go by them at all in this in this little thing that we're doing. But, eh. No, it's Think 100 battles. And it's not the flip side pit of 100 trials, and it's not the flop side pit of 100 trials. Does this have anything to do with a uh, Samur Guy gauntlet? I'm gonna go ahead and give you the point. Yes, it is the Samur Kingdom, aka Chapter 6. Okay, I thought I was gonna get that at some point because I do recall uh, playing that part specifically uh, at some point. I don't own Super Paper Mario, but I do recall playing it for sure. Yes, I will go ahead and give you the point because you were close enough there. All right. So you've gotten two wrong and you've gotten two right. So far as a tie. <laughs> All right. Number five. This Pikmin 2 boss rush dungeon is the longest cave in the game, even longer than the dungeon containing the final boss. Pikmin 2 longest cave in the game. I should remember this, because back in my old little baby little Sonic Plays days, when I guessed it in uh, Malty's video of Pikmin 2 at a certain point, uh, I think it was in the second day, uh, I think he, I think I recall him bringing it up at some point. Uh, On day two? Well, maybe not. It could have been way before he even got there, but... So I think uh, baby little Sonic Plays' memory is a little fuzzy there. Uh... All right, well, look at it this right way. I also said it's a boss rush dungeon. Would the boss rush really be on day two? I know it had the word uh, heroes in it. Heroes, I believe. Is that your final answer? Trial of heroes, like, the word trial does come uh, quite a bit to my memory at the very least. Uh, I'm going to go with trial sort of of heroes. Something of heroes. I'm going to give you half a point. This is the whole of Heroes. Ah, uh, I knew I was missing some other part. Two and a half points? So you, you were very close here. I was, I almost wanted to say that's borderline worth half a point, but I didn't want to influence your final answer. Yeah, because I were 
recall certain things of the game, uh, just not every part, to say the least for me. All right, number six. This 2.0 update to The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes was added as the ninth area of the Drablands and is where you can obtain the Fierce Deity Armor. And what game is this again? The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Triforce Heroes. If you need a little bit more uh, refresher, this is basically the Four Swords game, Four Swords styled game that they released for the 3DS. Running off of basically the Link Between Worlds engine. I know the word Citadel is in there. Uh, Summit Citadel? Is that your final answer? It is. Summit Citadel? Yeah. This is incorrect. This is known uh, as the Den of Trials. The Den of Trials. Uh, unless I was thinking of the wrong game, because I know there's so many references to the Fierce de Deities armor in, uh, in various Zelda games. I guess yeah, I missed this referenced This is the it. reward. You, you, the Den of Trials is where you go to get the Fierce Deity armor. It's where you fight basically the three Dark Links. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, I guess so it's another... No point there, unfortunately. Yeah, I got... So far, I'm keeping a track for myself. I got two and a half points thus far. <laughs> All right. Number seven. Seven. This area makes an appearance in both Pokemon Coliseum and its sequel, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, in which you must fight 100 trainers and is considered a grueling part of the post-game. Um. Fighting 100 trainers. Pretty infamous in the community for being a difficult part of the post-game. Um. It's an area. I want to say that it's sort of called Mountain... Yeah, Mountain Battle Trainers, I believe. Is that your final answer? I do believe it is. <laughs> I will give you the point. Yes, it is called Mount Battle. Ah, I recall that because I've seen various Pokemon uh, playthroughs on YouTube. Uh, Colosseum was one uh, that, that I previewed a long time ago when I watched uh, some other YouTubers Let's Play it. And I do recall certain parts of Colosseum and... Uh, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, and uh, Red and Blue, uh, and other various Pokemon games. But yeah, Mountain Battle kind of stuck with me for the most part. It took me a while to get it. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Do whatever you got to do to remind yourself. This arena, oh. located on in on Low Rules Death Mountain, is where you obtain a heart piece along with the Super Lamp and Super Net in The Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds for clearing the advanced level multiple times. Fun fact, it's located where Ganon's tower would be in A Link to the Past Dark World. And this is A Link Between Worlds. Yes. This arena, located in Low Rules Death Mountain, is where you obtain a heart piece, along with the super lamp and super net for clearing the advanced level multiple times. Super lamp and heart piece. I want to go on the limb and say that this is going to be a treacherous tower. Is that your final answer? It is. I should read, just, read this more like Regis Philbin. Is that your final answer? That yes, is my... that is correct. It is treacherous tower. Ah. Hey. I know my Zelda. A little bit. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> like, I, I said this before we started, I had a feeling that I was probably going to get some right and wrong, but yeah. I'm going to guess that I'm at uh, four and a half points here. You are at four and a half. Okay. Th this one, I have very little doubt you will get wrong. Go for Number it. Number nine. This challenge of three serve as the hardest demon gates presented in Okami. They can be found in oh. Ryoshima Coast, North Ryoshima Coast, and Kamui, respectfully. It is, and, you're, and the answer is uh, going to be... The Hardest Demon Gate Challenge. That is correct. Okay. The Hardest Demon Gate Challenge is in, is in fact in Kamui. That's where you fight three Nagis, I believe, and about yes. five Evil Rows. And actually, I just realized I, I pretty much gave it away by calling it Demon Gate, but... They, well, they don't specifically call it Demon Gate. They well, call it something else. Demon um, Gate Trial, I believe. One of those, one of those in the vicinity. 
I, I think I'm just going to give you the point because I actually worded this very poorly. Uh, it's Devil Gate cha Trials, but uh. I'm, I'm going to give you the point. Yeah, because whenever Chris and I just hang out, he's always referenced it as Demon Gate Trial, and I kind of just go with him. Uh, it's the same thing. We know where they are. We know how to do it. So, eh. All right. Well, in any case, you've gotten five and a half, so at le you've at least gotten half of this list. You ready for number 10? Number 10, the final one. Number 10 is especially appropriate, especially for this episode, because number 10, this gauntlet was added for Twilight Princess HD. It can be accessed by scanning in Wolf Link amiibo and can only be done as Wolf Link. No Master Sword allowed. See, I had a feeling that it was not going to be the Cave of Ordeals, because we did that in this episode, but I do have my doubts about that one. This is kind of my way of getting you to cover that subject, at the very least, in this LP, without actually covering the HD version. <laughs> uh. I want to say, the further you get in this gauntlet, the more hearts you actually get if you scan in... Wolf Link to Breath of the Wild. But I myself don't own Wolf Link, so I don't know that for sure. I don't own Wolf Link either. At all. <laughs> but I do have maybe an answer here. I'm going to go on the limb and say that this is going to be the Hero's Gauntlet. Is that your and final what? answer? It is my final answer. That is incorrect. This is hey. known as the Cave of Shadows. Cave of Sh... You see, I don't... Hey... Now, because I forgot, I don't really recall myself playing the HD version because I don't own it specifically. Will I in the future? Probably yes, but this one did kind of slip past me. All right, so your final total out of 10, you got five and a half. It's over 50%. <laughs> I can legally say that. <laughs> See me after class. Professor, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Professor Mega. <laughs> <Mega. laughs> I but definitely... yeah, I, I hope you can kind of see why I didn't want to save this for the next podcast, because I had sort of prepared it for this part specifically, and it felt the most appropriate to use it here. Uh, it's it's not going to be fun to edit, but yeah, I enjoyed it regardless. Thank you. I, it, felt, it felt right trying to one-up you with this quiz after the Galaxy 2 versus quote battle. I mean, like, again, with that one, the one that I did with the with the Galaxy 2 versus quotes, it was more like multiple choice because there were four of us. <laughs> Maybe if I had worked harder, I, I could have come up with some kind of multiple choice system here for you. <laughs> that's okay. But, but I also didn't have as many, so... That's all right. I, I had fun. All right, well, thank you very much for having me in this part of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm looking forward to the rest here. Uh, of course. This will probably be a separate video apart from uh, episode... Uh, whatever this part is going to be in Twilight Princess regarding the Cave of War deals, but uh, we shall see, because that episode alone is already uh, at most an hour long, so... <laughs> yeah, don't be surprised if it's a separate video, but it will probably most likely be so. Alright, good deal. I get to be a side episode. You can be a side episode. Like, not necessarily a podcast, but it's definitely out there. We did something kind of fun along the sides, but we didn't necessarily talk about anything that was trending, such as, like, movie releases or anything of the sort, so... We are good. A mini-sode. And now... Sir Little Saw will have to get his revenge in some other way. The next time we meet. I... Don't see it happening, but I'll let you know if it happens. The better word is, I'll probably let you know if I do come up with something of the sort. Yeah, alright. Sounds good, but... Hey, this was me, uh, suffering horribly at this quiz regarding gauntlets and video games, but <laughs> I gave it my best. But for now, we're going to end this off right here. See you next time. Peace out, everyone.